Yesterday was The Matrix Resurrection's premiere in San Francisco, and during the premiere, several new clips from the film was shown. The most interesting bit was shown at the end of the event that shows Bugs' origin story and the confirmation of one of the theories we had about Neo. So let's analyze them. This is your minor spoiler warning. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. We know that in this film, Neo is going through mental problems, depression, anxiety, and derealization. This scene begins with Neo on the roof of a building. I fly, or I fall. A clear reference to the original movie, when Neo failed the jumping program, then later flew at the end of the movie. Here Neo is doubtful, or tired. He wants to test whether he can fly. This connects to the scenes we saw in the first trailer when Neo tells the analyst that he has dreams that are not just dreams. I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Neo is caught between memories and reality. He wants to see if his dreams are real or not. Then Neo walks to the edge of the roof, and when he is about to jump, someone saves him. It's Bugs. Thomas Anderson doesn't know who she is, but there is a surprising revelation. She knows who he is. <sighs> who the hell are you? You won't remember me, but a long time ago you changed my life. Bugs explains that one day, while she was working, she saw Thomas trying to jump off a building. Back then I was just like any other cop top, pretending my life. Until I looked up and I saw you. It was a different you, but I saw the real you. This scene confirms our theory that the machines not only tried to erase Neo's memories, but that they gave him a different residual self-image. Everyone in the Matrix sees Thomas Anderson differently than he sees himself in the mirror. Thomas is having a mental breakdown, and everyone around him is trying to stop him from jumping. And you never fell. This scene also confirms that Neo is being kept hidden within the Matrix. He is not in a separate simulation. This also means that Bugs was just recently a blue pill. But why did Neo's actions cause Bugs to wake up from the Matrix? To understand this, let's recap what a potential is. Potentials are humans connected to the Matrix who manifest abilities within the simulation or who that have witnessed an error or anomaly in the Matrix. This leads them down the path of doubt that will eventually lead them to awakening. The same happened to Neo when he was contacted by Trinity, or with Kid when he was contacted. They only need that spark of doubt in the Matrix to guide them to be awakened. Bugs was awakened because she saw an error. She saw beyond that false RSI that the machines put over Neo. She saw the real Neo. And not only that, she saw him possibly floating in the air for a few seconds. This led her to question her reality and awaken from the Matrix. Bug shows Neo her white rabbit tattoo. I knew one day I would find you. And that when I did, you would be ready for this. A reference to the first movie, when Neo followed the woman with a similar tattoo. Yeah. Sure. I'll go. Then we see Bugs opening a door to another place, similar to what the Keymaker did. Call Neo now. I lost them. They're inside the portal. With these scenes, we have the character's timeline established and her motivations explained thanks to an interview that we talked about in a previous video. Bugs is a true believer. She thinks that Neo is still alive, so she has this sort of ragtag crew with her and they're just off in search of him. We think we already have a solid foundation for Bugs' origin and it goes as follows. Bugs was an ordinary citizen until she witnessed a bug in the Matrix. If the truce is still in place, it means that the machines allowed Bugs to wake up to the real world or that other red pills contacted her upon realizing that she had become a potential. In the Path of Neo video game, 
There are several missions where Neo had to save potentials in the Matrix. Part of the mission of the Red Pills is to organize and find potentials within the simulation. Bugs is then extracted from the simulation and turned into a Red Pill. She learns the history of the One, of how Neo sacrificed himself, possibly showing her videos and images of Neo, and there she realizes that she saw the same man inside the simulation. She begins to feed the idea that Neo is alive. In the interview where the motivation of Bugs and her team were revealed, she mentions that they are believers and fans of Neo who believe that he is alive. This video explains why she has faith in Neo because she saw him. On the other hand, the theme of depression is quite profound in this movie. It will be part of its philosophy. Why is the system hiding Neo's true identity from him and everyone else? Neo cannot live with this derealization where he has nightmares that he is someone else and wakes up in a body that feels that it is not his. The criticism is of how society tries to suppress or change who we are and how it could lead us down a dark path. Neo went from being the savior of the world to a person trapped by the system. He is struggling to wake up and deep down inside, he remembers who he was. Neo remembers his past life as the one. It's what Niobe mentioned in the second trailer. It's so easy to forget how much noise the Matrix pumps into your head. Neo will have to overcome that noise and accept his path. Remember who he was to become the one that he once was. But do you agree? What do you think about Bugs' origin? Why doesn't Neo have his powers if he somehow remembers who he was? Do you feel not like yourself? Has depression led you to question reality? Do you have an extreme desire to jump off a building? You may be suffering from a strange neurological condition caused by an imbalance in the brain known as VDTs. Folly Bridge has the solution for you. Introducing Ontalofloxin, the world's first and only blue pill you will ever need to start your day right and simply forget all your troubles, literally. Ask your doctor about Ontalofloxin today and join the millions living in blissful ignorance. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.